Hey y'all, Pete here with Green Dreams and I'm just hanging out in the food forest, that zone one food forest right outside of our house. And I'm holding an exciting perennial vegetable. This uh, perennial vegetable is chaya and also known as tree spinach. And you can see I have two different varieties in my hand. This one's a much bigger leaf. This one's a much smaller leaf. This one definitely tends to flower a lot more. The tree is pretty much like, like I said, tree spinach. It's very similar to spinach. So it has protein, vitamins, calcium, iron, very high. It's a source of antioxidants. One thing I'll tell you about the tree that kind of tends to scare people, but it's not a real big deal. It does need to be cooked for 20 minutes. So you don't want to eat this one raw. This wouldn't be a good fodder crop, but it is an excellent green for the house. It grows like a weed. It's not an annual. It never needs to be replanted. It actually can almost grow to a complete tree size. So like I said, it has a little cyanide, needs to be cooked for 20 minutes. You don't even need to dump the water. You know, it completely volatizes. The only thing you can't do is cook it in an aluminum pot. So just remember that, Chaya. Um, I'm feeling pretty giving today. So the first five comments, uh, like, comment, share. I'll send you all a cutting of this one. Just tell me which one you want. You want, um, But very easy to grow. Pretty much just stick this in the ground and walk away. It doesn't even need to be watered in. So, you know, plants like this are plants that we need to be spreading around they grow very easily, super tough. Behind me, you'll see a small tree of chaya, kind of a little bit of a uh, thin form right now because of the time of year. In the middle of summer, the tree definitely gets a little larger in size. One thing I will tell you about the tree is it's a very tender, weak tree. So it can become a 15 foot tree, but those branches will snap very easily. So it's a little bit on the weak side, but other than that, I mean, this is a powerhouse. You know, great for bringing in beneficial insects, unbelievable source of you know nutrients in your yard grows like a weed, thrives on neglect, chaya. Everybody needs to grow it. Please uh, like, share, comment. Appreciate y'all's support.